Would, would, you, would you be happy if she grew up to be a rap artist? <coughs> Hell yeah, I would. Yeah. I'd be flattered. That'd be dope to me. You don't think this, this life of traveling around, doing drugs, <laughs> drink... What is, what is this? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, what was the question? You don't think this life of doing drugs and drink and, well, hanging out with the guys or the girls is... Everybody does drugs. I mean, especially, especially, uh, people like me. <laughs> But, um... Nah, when it comes to my daughter, like when I'm around my daughter, like I do my thing on the road, you know what I'm saying? I do my share of drugs, I smoke my share of weed or whatever, whatever, but when my daughter's around, none of that shit goes on, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's not like I got a drug problem that bad anymore. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I can pretty much stop when I want to, and when she's around, it just don't go down. Pretty much stop? Huh? Pretty much stop? Pretty much stop. What do you mean? I mean, it sounds like you 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 you're not totally in control. No, no, no. That was a joke. That was a joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Pick another one, please. Ah, uh, that very good. How long are we doing this for? Oh, for about 20 minutes. What is the moment that you are most happy? When I see Britney Spears naked, that's probably the most happy moment. What, what is it you like about Britney Spears? She's underage. You just <laughs> met her and became fascinated by her. Yeah, I just met her like um, last week. Yeah. You know, now I think she's a cute girl. I need to quit cracking jokes about her, otherwise she'll never date me. Would you like that to date her? Huh? Would you like that? To rape her? No, to date her. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I would actually like to date Jennifer Lopez. Mm. You know. But um, I think she likes Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan's my lawyer. Me. Paul Bunyan's my manager and, and, and also my headache. Pick another one, please. What has been the greatest loss in your life? My penis. <laughs> you still got it, don't you? Nope, got chopped off. Got a jealous girlfriend. Nah, um, the greatest loss of my life would probably be when I lost my uncle, like, a few years ago. He committed suicide. We was the same age. He was about 19 when he did it, you know? And that really fucked me up for like a couple of years. It fucked me up. I couldn't even talk about it, you know, but... Did you understand why he did it? No, nah, I didn't know why. I always felt, I, I always placed a little bit of blame on myself because I thought, like, if I would have been there, I could have talked him out of it or whatever, you know. But, um, so it was kind of fucked up for me, you know. I took it pretty hard. Is, is, is experiences like that are are these things you you use in in your music in in, in lyrics? Yeah, definitely, it definitely comes out. I mean, besides the fact of me cracking a lot of jokes and 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 being the funny guy on the album and shit like that, um, you know, I've got my serious songs too, where like, you know, it's kind of like, well, all jokes aside, this is how I really feel, like rock bottom, and and if I had those are songs like. Those are songs, you know, really reflecting my life. But, you know, even when I'm being funny, this shit is a reflection of my life, too. It's just in a twisted, stupid way, you know. Man. <laughs> Very last one. Promise. Promise. Should you ever consider seeing a psychiatrist, psychologist, when and why? considered seeing a gynecologist. Wah, 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 wah. Tough audience tonight, folks. <laughs> um, Just flew in from Detroit. 
<laughs> um, what I ever consider seeing a psychiatrist um, nah cause I wanna stay nutty yeah. find nutty people ain't gonna like me no more so I like being nutty but if you feel like really unhappy wouldn't you well, huh if you would feel like really unhappy like you say you, you screwed up after your uncle committed suicide wouldn't it be nice to have someone to, to help you Oh, I mean, nah, nah, nobody could, after that type of shit happened, and I don't want to even keep bringing this up, but after that type of shit happened, I didn't want to talk to nobody. There was nobody that could help me with that problem, you know. And right now, as far as, like, seeing a psychiatrist, I probably need one, but I, I don't want to see one. Why, why do you need one? Why do I need one? Mm -hmm. I said I probably need one. Why, why do you probably need one? I probably need one because I'm fucking crazy. You hear me? I'm fucking crazy. Uh, but you don't think it's crazy a problem. Crazy about men. <laughs> do what? You don't think it's a problem? Nah, it's not really a problem. I get sick thoughts in my head. I say a lot of fucked up shit, but I don't think I'm really sick. I, don't, I wouldn't consider myself a lunatic. You know, not an asshole all the time, neither. You know, just most of the time. 